recall that the exchange between somebody in the floor and Professor Omaya regarding the role of Japanese government in terms of promoting... Oh, yeah. He, uh, he uh, no longer cares about that, yeah, right? Because yeah. he tried and tried and mm. finally he gave up because the government did not respond to what he raised. Well, you're lucky that you don't have him here in Korea, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we, we need... Don't quote me. <laughs> we need people like him because from time to time we need people mm -hmm. who sees beyond what's going on yeah. in the real world. Yes. I mean, sometimes he, he or she could be an imaginator mm -hmm. you know, who, who just dreams without... Uh, <clears throat> without uh, paying very much attention to the... To all real the paragraphs work. and uh, yes. regulations this, and so yeah. on. Yeah. If if we look throughout the history, you know, mm -hmm. those people with full of imagination, mm -hmm. they are the ones who made various breakthroughs. Not That's just in science, technology, but it is also in mm -hmm. social science and other discipline. I think. But anyway, um, by now. You must be familiar with our education system. More or less. Yeah. More or less. You know, mm -hmm. education is a big fever or burning issue mm -hmm. in Korea. Mm -hmm. Although um, people outside the country praise about what we have accomplished over the 30, 40 years. Yes, very much so. And, mm -hmm. and yet, the people, <coughs> I mean, Korean people seem to never set satisfied well, that's good. with our accomplishment. Well, that's good also. And there has mm. always been debate, debate, debate about the mm. quality of teaching course, debate mm. about college entrance examination, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. Mm -hmm. And this is good in a way because we are in a way raising our expectation right. But right. so that we can aim for the new goals and new direction. But on the other hand, from government angle, mm -hmm. I'm concerned and worried about this you know, uh, sometimes unproductive, I would call, mm -hmm. uh, debate about the educational issues. But nevertheless, uh, let me ask you, uh, mm -hmm. from what, whatever you know about education, what do you think is our uh, weakness in education so that we should take action? Well, let me start with the good points. I don't like to start with the <laughs> <Okay>. negatives. <laughs> And uh, I think uh, there are many aspects where you can be really very proud and uh, the learning outcomes of PISA are very impressive. Uh, on the three um, parts, which is uh, reading, mathematics, science, um, all three of them, you are number one or two uh, together with Finland. So this is very remarkable. And uh, I, th I think you really deserve a lot of praise for the highest uh, secondary school attainment mm -hmm. um, which exists. And uh, also um, that you provide access to higher education. Um, our review suggests that um, more quality evaluation mm -hmm. Uh, might be a good issue for higher education mm -hmm. and uh, as a matter of fact uh, the OECD Directorate for Education has been asked by a number of countries to look more into quality evaluation of mm -hmm. teaching. Mm -hmm. So we will see whether we can come up with uh, some tools, with some indicators mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so it would be very good if we could cooperate also exactly. uh, with Korea mm -hmm. in this issue. Mm -hmm. Regarding schools, um, I think we all agree that we would like Korean pupils to enjoy more uh, going to school. Mm -hmm. And um, as high and superb um, the learning outcomes is, the learning outcome is um, you hear again and again that um, pupils also say that the, they do not enjoy so much going mm -hmm. to school. So maybe there is something that could be done there. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, 
Well, thank you very much for your compliment <coughs> on the accomplishment of our education system. Yes, I agree with you entirely when it comes to quality of higher education. And also, I, I should admit that our school students are not happy with their <coughs> school life. Mm -hmm. it, it seems very obvious if you look at the background information gener generated through PISA exercise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, Korean, indeed, Korean students are not satisfied with the school environment. Mm -hmm. And they don't feel that they belong to school Etc. Et yeah, yeah, so corporate identity. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me pick on this point mm -hmm. um, because this has been happening for many years now, mm -hmm. and because the government teachers, I mean the headmasters, we all try to ameliorate mm -hmm. all this kind of problem, mm -hmm. and yet we don't find solution or mm -hmm. good alternatives. Mm -hmm. So. From an outside outsider's angle, it would be very helpful for mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. if we can get good uh, suggestion or advice mm -hmm. by observing what is happening in our uh, classrooms and mm -hmm. school mm -hmm. environment. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if OECD can offer such kind of uh, <coughs> advice, mm -hmm. but I think we can finance the uh, study or project if OECD. I mean, you are, mm -hmm. <coughs> you are directly decides to to do something about this. It could well, be uh, that, that's just Korea's, ca yeah. Korea's case study, mm -hmm. or it could no. be an uh, interesting yeah. comparison study. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we are keen to learn mm -hmm. or to get mm -hmm. outsiders' in inputs. And uh, well, thank you. Yes, I uh, um, I will look into that um, and. Uh, because, I, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. I know that uh, Korea is not the only country uh, which uh, mm. is uh, really giving attention mm -hmm. uh, to this issue mm. and uh, would like mm. to see that uh, the children, the young generation mm -hmm. more enjoys mm -hmm. uh, education on yes. all levels. and. Um, there might be some best practices in the world, yes. and um, I know from <coughs> some experiences that uh, education in the United States uh, throughout mm. high schools is being enjoyed in mm. many areas of the United States, and uh, it, it might also be uh, that uh, society, teacher, uh, everybody has very high expectations and right. you have also achieved a lot uh, mm -hmm. and uh, without um, some changes at the time, without some pressure at the time, um, this, these achievements um, would probably not have happened. Mm -hmm. Maybe now it's time to relax a bit mm -hmm. and um, let us look into that. What mm -hmm. could uh, what could help um, to make um, parents relax, to make uh, teachers relax, mm -hmm. but not in a way that you then turn into the mm -hmm. other extreme. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, so that let us look for some best practices in well, the world. Well, thank, thank you for <coughs> your comments. Let me elaborate more on this point. Mm -hmm. um, it seems that we understand what causes for example, school violence or bullying mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And what makes students and parents unhappy about their school experience? We, some of the answer or the typical answer has been that because we have a severe college entrance co examination mm -hmm. yes. and students, yes. while preparing, preparing for the college entrance, mm -hmm. they have to get, for example, good GPA. Yes. They, have, they have to have good a uh, school record mm. to get mm. access to mm. better or prestigious mm. colleges and universities. Mm -hmm. And therefore, this makes each and every child to compete right. each other. Right. And this may cause mm. them to study harder, harder, and to make their life mm. miserable. Mm. 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 But on the other hand, the school life, I mean the uh, schooling, 
is part of uh, life for everybody. Mm -hmm. And every child needs to be happy or needs, every child is entitled to enjoy life, including mm. school, school life. life, life, yeah. life. Yes. So we need to better understand mm -hmm. the uh, student's life while they are in classroom, while they are mm -hmm. in the playing field. I mean, mm -hmm. as part of their life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we commission a study or some you know, project to look into the the real life of kids while they are with K-12 schools. Mm -hmm. Not just in Korea, but in other countries. Like you said, if mm -hmm. you can single out some of the factors that contribute to increase the happiness or mm -hmm. increase the mm -hmm. sense of belongingness of these kids to schools, and that would help us policymakers to yes. do something yes. about that. Mm. Well, I think it might have to do some, so and so much with the school atmosphere. You pointed out yourself um, that the pressure, of course, comes also the next, from the next level, uh, how to get into higher education. So um, should you also eventually reflect more about some alternatives, some, some uh, students like to have some practical experiences in between mm -hmm. and uh, like allow them for uh, some internships, um, some practical training mm -hmm. uh, after um, secondary school mm -hmm. and still allow an entrance later mm -hmm. uh, to higher education. Mm -hmm. Um, so that uh, it's not the pressure at age 18, 19, this is the only time uh, to enter higher mm -hmm. education, mm -hmm. but maybe earn some money, do some internships in between, and then uh, enjoy higher education. Mm -hmm. And not to have to study uh, full, full time mm -hmm. all year. This might be a good alter alternative yes. for um, some students, mm -hmm. of course not for everybody, mm -hmm. but for some. Um, but we, we can look together in, yes, in yes. these alternatives. Yes, so okay. I think you have to look at both ends. Um, yes, yes. So again, we are very keen to mm -hmm. learn from others, especially mm -hmm. from OECD specialists regarding this issue, see if we can um, better arrange our policies to uh, solve this kind of problem. On Good. top of what we are doing, to ameliorate college entrance, yes. you, know, you know, the uh, stress. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, going back to the, your first point about the quality of higher education, mm -hmm. this is a big concern as, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the reasons why we organized this forum yeah. in the first place. Mm -hmm. Because we have, <coughs> uh, we have achieved the almost mass, I would call mass higher education by now. Mm -hmm. For example, more than 80% of our high school graduates progress towards university education. And yet, the, when it comes to completion of university education, mm -hmm. business people always complain about the quality of mm -hmm. the education, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> provided to college students and some leading business leaders used to say that they have to retrain the college graduates for at least a year or a year and a half. Mm -hmm. That entails a lot of money, mm -hmm. uh, let alone the time and effort. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there should be some effort mm -hmm. to upgrade the quality of education being provided. And at the same time, the, the top-notch technology, mm -hmm. it should be created through research training at major universities. We have uh, many, many graduate, pro I mean, uh, graduate programs, and yet our uh, masters and PhD holders, they are, not with, they are not capable of 
responding to the, to the needs of leading edge companies like Samsung, Hyundai, mm -hmm. and the business people. One of their solution has been to create their own in-house training camp or research mm -hmm. camp. Mm -hmm. Samsung Electronics, for example, they have mm -hmm. around 3,000 PhDs in science and technology. Mm -hmm. That's part of their company uh, organization. And we, we ask them to invest in universities mm -hmm. rather than having their own. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. in, the, in the long run, if you invest in schools, invest in universities mm -hmm. and let them uh, conduct you know, R&D activities, that would be more beneficial and mm -hmm. more cost efficient. Mm -hmm. And so far we haven't been uh, successful in terms of proceeding people from business circle. On the other hand, we ask university people try to make their education train, uh, research activities more aligned to the needs of the business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So these days we make, we get these two people together and to debate about the universe, so-called university academia partnership. Yes. And one thing that we mutually discovered is that for the company, especially the leading edge company like Samsung, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. some of the things are so confidential. I mean, mm -hmm. this is, can mm -hmm. be a business secret. Mm -hmm. They cannot, mm -hmm. they share. cannot share with yeah, the university yeah. people. And university mm -hmm. people said, unless we know what <laughs> kind of, what next products mm -hmm. is going to be when mm -hmm. it comes to Samsung, you know, electronic, yeah. whatever. And without knowing the business plan, mm -hmm. it's hard for them to align their research activities. I think that makes a lot of sense. Yes. Right? Yes, yes. So, one solution has, mm. has been that let the university create a tailor-made program mm. which is, which is geared toward the, the company needs mm. and the company provides resources to university mm. to run mm. the, the program. Actually, Samsung has a special arrangement with the one leading university in Korea, which is Sungyungwan University. Mm -hmm. The for cellular phone, they create oh, yes, a new department, yes, yes. <coughs> and Samsung has also a tailor-made the program with Seoul National University, mm -hmm. and this is one of many approaches that where we <coughs> try to improve the quality. But from government perspective, this is not enough. This is too no, slow. Yes, so we yes. need a kind of system, or we need a systematic approach to upgrade the quality, overall quality of higher education and research activities. This is why I address this issue. You, if, if you re may recall, mm. when we mm. were in Athens, mm. Mm. Uh, I, I, I spoke about this, the need for this. Right. So how to assess or evaluate the quality of education? Yes. And we have international ranking like the, the Times, mm. or mm. Uh, Jia Tong University mm. in, 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 in Shanghai, yes. for example. Yes. And if you look at the list, well, it, you know, it's, there seems to be some bias. And also the yes. indicators, uh, to indicators do not look very scientific from a professional viewpoint. So I urge the OECD to invent or create a Thank new you. approach, like yes. PISA type of assessment or whatever. Yes. <coughs> with some authority and professionalism. Good. Good. And I uh, would ask you again, sorry, Very again good. to look into this issue. This is not my personal view. From uh, the, uh, the viewpoint of government of Korea, we really need this internally on, and also international because mm. many of our students are going abroad yes. without knowing the true value or quality of higher education they will get overseas. So I think mm -hmm. it would be very uh, helpful mm -hmm. for us Korean government and also for other governments to have some, uh, some objective scientific mm -hmm. criteria or indicator or method of mm -hmm. evaluating university education. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And OECD I find is the best place to initiate this program. And OECD members have the best universities in the world, 
and best expertise mm. Mm. from around the world. Mm-hmm. And therefore, uh, this is single. If you can initiate this piece of, well, I would stick to the piece of type of approach, but the methodology, the process, yeah. Um, yeah. if the OECD can take the lead in this area, mm. that would be tremendously helpful for Korea. We will organize an expert meeting uh, next year mm-hmm. and uh, we'll see to it uh, that this uh, matter will be discussed uh, mm-hmm. among experts from member countries. Mm-hmm. And the Secretary General of OECD himself uh, has uh, shown uh, his interest also in this matter and he said that he uh, wanted himself to support such an expert meeting. Great, excellent. So, um, uh, I think um, that uh, there is really a need Mm -hmm. uh, for many countries, not for all countries, but for a number Mm -hmm. of countries. And um, you you gave uh, some examples um, how you want to remedy uh, at present uh, the situation in in Korea and to giving also um, this cooperation example mm-hmm. between Samsung and mm-hmm. uh, and a, a given university. This is um, probably a short term solution. Yes, because. Um, the, as as uh, we all know, the market uh, is changing mm-hmm. uh, very quickly. Mm-hmm. And uh, while the students attend this class and this curriculum mm-hmm. uh, for three years, industry might at the same time mm-hmm. have changed mm-hmm. uh, their expectations. Right. So um, there, there ought to be cooperation. Could it be in, in, in incorporating within one um, university-run curriculum, again, internships mm-hmm. um, in companies mm-hmm. uh, so that they do get the practical experience while there are still students and mm-hmm. then return to universities? Mm-hmm. We have to look into this and see yes. how this can be enriched in a fruitful way. Thank you. So I look forward to OECD uh, initiatives from now on. Good. And uh, I really want to see some, you know, programs mm. in this area. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The, the raising quality. By the way, um, I recall I mentioned the the U.S. approach, not U.S. approach, but the you know the Rand Corporation in mm-hmm. California. Mm-hmm. 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 They devised a tool called CLA, mm-hmm. Collegiate Learning Assessment. I understand that they apply this tool to a hundred and something universities in the U.S. Yes. Yes. And what they do is basically they uh, define a core set of competence or skills mm-hmm. which can mm-hmm. be, or should be obtained through university education, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. problem solving, like, uh, uh, I don't know, the, what other skills that they are talking about, but they define or identify uh, university level of skills and competence regardless of the discipline and they assess they try to measure the the value added of a university education and they then sum up for mm-hmm. each individual institution mm-hmm. so the unit of analysis is uh, i understand is university whether a particular university has created uh, a value added mm-hmm. in terms of mm-hmm student's learning outcome, then perhaps they can compare and contrast between or among uh, institutions. This is basically their approach. It sounds very interesting. And I don't mean to suggest this approach, but including Mm -hmm. student assessment, program evaluation, Mm -hmm. and institutional accreditation. Mm -hmm. I mean, the overall Mm -hmm. uh, approach to quality assurance of higher education I think is very relevant and uh, uh, required in, in my country. OECD, UNESCO has <coughs> set out the guideline for quality assurance. Yes. yes. That I think is an important step, but that's too big and uh, how can I say? Is that concrete enough? Well, and yeah. uh, what will implication um, look like? So uh, we. 
countries will very differently uh, really imply it and uh, so we we still have to f follow up uh, with this uh, and uh, the guidelines are a good first achievement but mm -hmm. now we also have to mm -hmm. see with countries how they want to apply it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I yes, sir, I yes. I'm a two more things to raise. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Yes, yes, sure. Very good. Very interesting. I, I, we are very grateful for your effort to look at our tertiary education sector. Mm -hmm. I understand that thematic review is still going on yes. for tertiary education. What I'm uh, interested in is the conclu uh, conclusive mm -hmm. part of this report or review. Mm -hmm. I mean the policy recommendation or session mm -hmm. and uh, before you finalize this review, mm -hmm. if possible, I would like to go over mm -hmm. conclu <coughs> conclusions mm -hmm. and uh, suggestions, whatever you call it, because once this report came out, I want to disseminate mm -hmm. in Korea in one way or the other. Okay. And well, an analytic part of the review, uh, well, I'm also interested in, but the policy part of this report will be very important for us. So that, uh, just to make sure that the, yes. your policy recommendations could, can be accommodated mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. can be adopted mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by our government. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to... Uh, 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 I shouldn't say distort, but you know, just to make sure that your recommendations are in line <coughs> with what we think and what we want to disseminate, based upon the uh, analysis that you have you have done in in terms of uh, reviewing tertiary education. Would that be possible? We foresee yeah. for all uh, um, reviews to have uh, also a discussion uh, with the authorities uh, okay. prior to dissemination. So uh, with all these reviews, we do that. Okay. Uh, so uh, this is uh, foreseen in okay. each individual case. Okay. <coughs> so <coughs> so I, I look again, I anticipate good uh, report. I because OECD has been produced always the quality report, I count on OECD very good. Yes. Now, uh, high no. expectations. Yes, I hope high, I will still uh, enjoy yeah. my job. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have a great many, uh, high expectation. We got OECD work. Okay, mm -hmm. lastly, lastly, this is my suggestion. Yes. I think I raised this issue while I was attending education CEO meeting in Copenhagen, which mm -hmm. which was uh, held last year, before you... 2005, to yeah, in two with, uh, fall 2005. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, with this uh, Australian yes, gentleman. Yes, Barry McGaugh. Barry McGaugh, yeah. right. I recall that I suggested that the, the EAG, Education yes, Class, yes, yes. Uh, it is very helpful to benchmark uh, our nation, national system with other country system mm -hmm. in terms of financing, mm -hmm. student assessment, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and many, uh, you know, uh, uh -huh. education related indicators. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what I proposed was some of the in indicators may not be relevant to all OECD member countries, but f at least from our end. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I mean, including Japan, mm -hmm. the private expenses or mm -hmm. private expenses of education is very uh, important or is mm -hmm. a as a burning issue as mm -hmm. far as Korea is concerned. Mm -hmm. And I know that mm -hmm. some other com OECD countries <coughs> are also struggling with private tutoring or private mm -hmm. activities and education that take place outside the school uh, mm -hmm. <coughs> environment. Mm -hmm. Because this activity entail uh, extra money for parents or household, mm -hmm. because these money are huge in some countries, I think it's time for us to better understand okay. what causes this extra uh, expenses for education on top of public schooling. Mm -hmm. So I suggest that the OECD collect or devise indicators about this. Mm -hmm. um, 
드릴게요. 전화 드릴게요. To be more concrete, for example, um, the, the definition of private expense may differ country by country. Mm. Uh, for example, here in Korea, we collect uh, fees for high school students. Mm. But these fees are uh, are poured into a public account. So therefore, although the parents pay for fees, the fees are counted as if it is a public money. This, this comes from the accounting practice uh, mm -hmm. in Korea. I don't know how many other countries are doing the same practice, but Korea may be the only country in OECD countries. But anyway, mm -hmm. the definition of private expenses can be diff can differ country mm -hmm. by country. Mm -hmm. And starting from the definition, and then we devise or create in indicators, and then we collect actual data and try to compare amongst the countries. Mm -hmm. And perhaps when you do PISA, actually PISA, mm -hmm. perhaps you can relate the PISA results with this uh, extra cost of education. Mm -hmm. Because in Korea, the good results of PISA, some people, especially some people from media like uh, Ms. Lee, <laughs> <laughs> argue that it is not because our public education is good, but because these kids get extra, uh, you know, uh, tutoring, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. take place outside school. Mm -hmm. Do you follow me? Yes, yeah. I do. Yes, yes, <laughs> Therefore, I think it's time for us to look into this uh, indicator. Mm -hmm. And I know Hungary, Hungary, Turkey, Mexico, Japan, mm -hmm. more or less, I mean, similar problem. Mm -hmm. To my knowledge, mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. I, uh, had a chat with officials from these countries, they all talked about this. So this is one suggestion. Another suggestion, this is really final. <laughs> you know, my ministry is now Minister of Education and Human Resources Development. Mm -hmm. As such, we every time we plan, we try to look beyond education and schooling, which mm -hmm. means we need to look into OJT and learning and teaching that take place in business setting, organization setting, and even in uh, household, some kind of teaching and learning are taking place. And also, we are interested in the mechanism through which the talent or cap the human capital is being distributed or allocated. <coughs> Uh, across different uh, industries or occupations. So, as for HRD, mm -hmm. we, we need extra indicator to diagnose our system. I recall some years back, the EAG included a rate of return on investment in education. Mm -hmm. And that, in, that showed only Formal schooling, for example, university education, high school education, vocational education, etc. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't include the, um, for example, uh, training that take place in uh, a company. I mean, like OJT type of training. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See if these, uh, when, especially vocational training, whether it is the company-based training is more efficient or more effective as opposed to that <coughs> take place in, in, in vocational schools, for example. As a policy maker, I'm from policy <coughs> angle, it is important to know mm -hmm. the, the efficacy of different approaches to training and education. So I would suggest to, uh, if possible, EAs can include more of this type of indicators, which look into labor market, which look into um, other types of training and education activities, which look into the mechanism through which human capital or computer's capital are allotted to different jobs and, and industries. And then we can see whether uh, 
then we can see how best we are doing as opposed to other OECD member countries. Mm. I think this would be helpful for policymakers in other countries as well. For example, how do you assess skill, whether there is a skill shortage? Mm. Mm. And in, in order to answer whether there is a skill gap, skill shortage, you need, you need to look into both education or supply side and labor market or demand side. Mm. The EAG has many supply side indicators, but it doesn't have many demand side indicators. I know that the ILO and other labor institutes do that, but I, I think OECD can take the lead in terms of integrating these two different areas so that policymakers or the government can have a, have, have a, 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 a consolidated look at the two different sectors simultaneously. Good. Mm -hmm. Let me end <laughs> my session of it. I have raised too many questions. No, 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 no. Thank that's very important uh, and uh, very legitimate uh, that you raise um, the issues where you would like to have more assistance uh, from OECD. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I think some of this might also be covered by the new program PIAC, yes. um, which uh, will be an international assessment of adult competencies. I know, I know PIAC, yes. So uh, by developing PIAC, we might come to some indicators uh, which are helpful also in this mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. um, what is PIAC? PIAC is Program for International, international Adult uh, assessment. Assessment. Uh, no, assessment of adult, adult competencies. Competencies. Yeah. Competencies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. P I A C. P I A C. P I A C. P P I A C. So this could uh, help already <coughs> to go into um, the direction where you want to have more indicators. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I will discuss this with our team of uh, so. analysts Again, and, yes. and we see uh, also together with uh, labor and employment mm -hmm. um, how we uh, can envisage that for the future. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I th in reality, we really need this. In every country, mm -hmm. they have a labor authority and education and authority. Very seldom these t uh, people from these two different departments talk to each other. Mm -hmm. I found that discovered Korea is not alone. Mm -hmm. I spent mm -hmm. some time in the bank, in the World Bank. Yes. I, I learned, that I visited many other countries, I learned that, mm -hmm. that the labor ministry or labor department people do not talk to education people. Mm -hmm. uh, I should not generalize this trend, but my impression is that there has to be a more close link Talk yes. Two different sectors. PIAC is being developed in cooperation between the mm -hmm. two directors. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, a program uh, which is uh, really um, designed mm -hmm. from the very beginning in cooperation by um, employment and labor mm -hmm. uh, and the education directorate. Mm -hmm. And so uh, both uh, committees will also advise us and guide us mm -hmm. uh, through this program. So uh, I think this will be a good new signal also mm -hmm. um, for this very program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. I'm, I'm glad that you, you are doing this type of uh, uh, project. When will we see the results? In how many years? That's a good question. Uh, so that's a good question. Um, we, on December 19, we will have a very meaningful, uh, long uh, meeting mm -hmm. uh, on PIAC. And uh, the committee members are invited and uh, we will have a thorough discussion of what we have done so far and mm -hmm. where we want to go. So I think in 2007, uh, we should start with the first uh, pilot programs uh, regarding PF. Okay, very good. Mm. Now, from your end, do you have any <coughs> advice, suggestion, or request? Okay. Um, I, I think uh, we have covered already uh, large terrain and um, 
I, uh, you said that um, bullying and violence you understand well in your country. I think we should share more about this because we have a network now uh, okay. at OAC. This is a real concern these days. Yeah, yeah, and in many countries. In many countries. In many countries. Yeah. And it's a rising uh, concern. Yes, yes, mm. yes. So if, if you have uh, uh, experiences and uh, uh, some good practice for this, I think uh, it would be important uh, that you could feed them in mm -hmm. to our network uh, yes. which is being established yes. for uh, this issue. Yes, we'll be happy to participate in whatever uh, programs that you initiate mm -hmm. in OECD mm -hmm. with regard to school violence, uh, bullying, etc. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes. Uh, Very good. Excuse me. You some of you go to Kiro Haseo. Yeah, happy to teach you in the Yegir Haku. Yeah, yeah. before we close our mm -hmm. dialogue. Mm -hmm. You think this forum is, uh, is meaningful? It goes well up to this point, the Global HR Forum? Very well, yeah. very well designed. Yeah. And I think you have brought excellent people together yeah. and yeah. everybody learned something new. Yeah. Yes. And uh, I think this is a big achievement because uh, nothing is more boring than being, to invite, than, than being invited to uh, a big meeting where you know everybody and you can say in advance what everybody will say. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this was here the opposite. Thank you. Thank you so much. So um, I wonder if you can, if we can ask you or invite you to become one of the international advisory group for this forum because we pl we plan to continue our mm -hmm. uh, this mm -hmm. global mm -hmm. HR forum mm -hmm. uh, next year and then in the following year, and we decided to form a small group of uh, people for advisory activities. This would be an honor and a privilege. Thank you so much. And I would be Thank very you. pleased. Yes, yes. yes. So we Thank will, you very uh, much. We will send out an official invitation letter uh, uh, sooner or later. In, in which we will state the purpose of this advisory group, I mean international mm -hmm. advisory group, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that we can get the new ideas or we can share our proposal with advisory members and then we can get some feedback. We'll be very happy and thank you so much for accepting our offer. Thank this you is very much. Offer. It's very... Thank you very much. Now I'm um, really very feel very honored um, that you are inviting me um, to participate in this uh, advisor group and uh, this is uh, a big privilege um, for OECD and for me personally. Privilege, privilege for us too. Good. <laughs> so it's a win-win situation. Yes, precisely. <laughs> yes. yes yeah. yeah, let's hope we will have many win-win situations then. I'm the, confident that we yes. have, we'll have many win-win uh, projects or you know uh, programs in the month you know for the months to come. Yes, yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very thank very you much, so much for being with us at the forum, and also thank you for taking your time to be with us today. Thank, thank you. you. Well, thank you very much indeed. See you soon. Yes. yes. See you soon. <laughs>